my friends how are you welcome back to my channel guess what today is today we are going to do the second ever mini vlog i think that i mentioned recently that i'm kind of playing around with having normal vlogs which normally are two days 25 30 minutes but sometimes some people are like i don't have 30 minutes so occasionally not super often doing a mini vlog which is like a half day maybe a 15-ish minute video, give or take, and occasionally, occasionally, doing micro vlogs on Instagram, which is like a day in the life in 90 seconds. So I'm just kind of like trying to give, you know, snacks, appetizers, and entrees, because you can't always have an entree all the time. Sometimes you want a snack. I don't know if the metaphor is landing. <laughs> So I am actually leaving town again tomorrow. Next vlog is going to be a travel vlog to Raleigh. And I've been telling everybody I'm going to Rayleigh. She doesn't know how to pronounce things. I'm going to Raleigh. So I'm just kind of, you know, getting things in order a bit. There's a couple errands I want to run. I'm so out of a lot of makeup. Like my mascara is so old and so dry. So I think I'm going to go to a mall. I think there's an Apple store there. I want to try to get a little keyboard for an iPad to bring that while I travel as well. See if they sell that there. Just some things to update y'all on. Really excited about it. So thank you for being here. Let's get this mini vlog started. Okay guys, exciting news. I know I showed y'all this. Um, actually, I think it was the last mini vlog, but I discovered this a couple of months ago and I love it. And now I'm getting to work with Beekman 1802 on today's video, meaning I have a discount code for y'all. But this has been something that I've been searching for for a long time. Well, I just shook it up. I should have showed you what it looked like before you shake it up. This is called the Milkshake. I was looking for like a very gentle toner essence for a long time. Everything seemed to be so like stripping and drying. And I'm trying to be very like hydrating and plumping to my skin. I use this after my skincare, but I also use it to refresh my makeup. Look at how lovely this is, ready? My skin just loves it. It's actually derived from goat milk, which I know sounds really weird, but I think my skin really likes it for a couple reasons. I learned that goat milk is weirdly enough the same pH as human skin. So it just like is very balancing in that way. And y'all know how big of a fan I am of microbiomes in general. And of course makes sense to take care of your external microbiome too, like topically on your skin. I also like these milk drops. I've been using these at night. Oh, you know the Allure Beauty Awards that they give? It's like the little red circle. I feel like those have never led me astray. Every time I try something with that award, I genuinely really like it. And this won that in 2022. That was my initial like, okay, I'll try it. And then of course, it didn't lead me astray. But this, I started trying this after I really fell in love with this a few months ago. There is naturally lactic acid in goat's milk, which helps just kind of very gently exfoliate, which I think has helped the texture of my skin a lot. Also a lot of fatty acids. I feel like I've noticed my skin is a little less oily, like a little more balanced and a little more plump and like hydrated instead of oily. So like I said, I'm going to have a code. This will get you 20% off the whole site. I'm still waiting to know what exactly my code is, but I should know by the time this video is edited. So I'm gonna put it on screen. I will also have a link down in the description that will take you to the site. But thank you to Beekman1802 for partnering with me on this video. I have a couple apartment updates. Papa Jancy came over this week literally at like 10 p.m. And between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m., we hung the last curtains and we hung the chandeliers in the bathroom. Are you ready for the reveal? I'm so excited about how these turned out. Okay, look at them. It adds such like architectural interest. We got this remote. Also, I ended up literally hot gluing the lights in here. Around that bulb insert, I hot glued these lights, which is great because I can still take the face off and replace the batteries if I ever need to. Lights off, these on. Whew. Isn't that nice? I took my first bubble bath last night. I hadn't yet, just, I don't, I don't know why, but this really set the mood. And then even when you're taking a shower, like the, the view from the shower is just so relaxing to not have bright light in here. Are you ready for this? These are purely decorative, but we hung the curtains in the den. So this is just one panel each, so it will literally not go very far. Curtains are like the eyelashes of a room. It's almost like this room got mascara. It feels so much more like luxe and expensive. And now I've learned the reason that rooms look expensive with curtains is because curtains are so freaking expensive. Ugh, doesn't it look so nice? It just softens the corners. It adds texture, it adds layers, it adds interest. I'm just really excited with how this turned out. 
Last thing before we head out, I got a, a hilarious package in the mail from Jordy. Let me just paint the scene. I told him as a kid, I, I was a Heelys kid. I loved my Heelys. I would ask mom if we could go to Costco because Costco was like the elite place to take Heelys. The concrete didn't have like the brakes in it. So you could just whew, smooth sailing. And so <laughs> he ordered me Heelys, but he said, I searched everywhere. It's hard to find adult sizes. The only adult size Heely I could find is a men's nine. I'm a woman's seven. These are huge. <laughs> Look at it in comparison to my head. <laughs> he's a 10. Maybe he can fit into these when he's here. <laughs> you know what? There's a world. There's a world in which I could put on a lot of socks and these would maybe work. I'm gonna get them set up. We're gonna try. I have on three pairs of my fluffiest socks and um, we're gonna see if I remember how to do this. I almost ate it once, just just walking to get my camera. Oh, I'm scared. Ah, okay. It's coming back to me. Ah! <laughs> okay. Whew. Ah! Okay. Be chill, be chill, be chill, be chill, be chill, be chill. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna start putting things on during cleaning days. And tidying only. Oh, she turned. Oh, okay, she's learning. <laughs> only wear these when I clean. It's 30 minutes later, and I'm still just healing around the house. I've got my turns down. Did you see that? But uh, we should head out. We should go to the mall um, before it gets too busy. Apparently, there's a Sephora sale happening right now too. So that's kind of a lucky time <laughs> to buy makeup. Um, and I will bring my iPad so that I make sure that if I get a case for it, that I get the right one, because <laughs> I could see myself making that mistake. The Sephora sale got me. They got me good. Maybe we could do a rapid fire haul in the car. <laughs> okay, mini little car haul. The main reason for the season is my favorite mascara from Merit. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it a million times. I don't think I'll ever find a better mascara. New beauty blender. I just told TikTok that my hot take is I feel like the Sephora brand beauty blender actually works better than the beauty blender brand itself. Whenever I want a more pigmented blush, I love the Merit Flesh Balm and they rebranded to this gold one a long time ago and mine is still the old packaging and it's almost out but I was like it's probably expired so new blush new color too almost out of dry shampoo I tried the silver living proof recently and it was okay so I'm excited to try this type see what I think I'm gonna try this brow gel from benefit um this is 24 hour brow setter it says it's like kind of like a laminated effect I'm picky though so we'll see Y'all know I currently own one eyeshadow palette and it's this one and I'm out of my two favorite colors. So I got a new one from Ilia. This is like the warm neutrals, warm nude they call it. And then I broke my brow brush and it's my favorite one. It has like the almost toothbrush end and the spoolie end. And I wish you could buy it individually, but you cannot. You have to buy it in this little Sephora set, which is a bummer, but... Lastly, I'm always on the hunt to try new shampoo. I feel like my hair really only tolerates shampoo for a month and then I have to find something new. So I'm gonna try the minis from this because the cost of all of these is like the cost of one full size one. So um, see how my hair likes it before committing to a larger size, but it came with a bag too, which is great for travel. It's my haul. Sweet Jordy sent me a Venmo to get a coffee on the way home. And there's a spot I've never been to before. It's called Mahama Coffee, I think. I don't know, the pictures look cute on the inside, so let's go see. How did I not know of this place? It's fully gluten-free. The owner is celiac. So I wasn't planning on getting a snack, but I did. I got a cinnamon bun and a matcha. So we're gonna do a little taste test and then a card chat. Because big sister Mikkel's about to come out today. I do have a big sister chat for you. Um, okay. Very good. I got um, unsweetened iced oat matcha latte. The oat milk is a little watery, but the matcha I could tell is really good quality. 
and a gluten-free cinnamon bun. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm, that is so moist. How do they do that? This is delicious. I gotta go back and try more of their house-made things. Wow. <laughs> okay, car chat. Um, like I said, you know, for the last 22 years, I've been a big sister. And so occasionally I have uh, thoughts and realizations that I think, you know, if you're my little sister, this is something that I just wish someone told me. So I'm going to tell you. This is something that came up in therapy. And basically the TLDR is if you have doubts, dump him. I mean, if you have doubts about the person that you're dating's quality of character, that alone is enough to not pursue a relationship with them, not pursue a dating relationship with them. And I did not know that it was possible to feel so confident about the character of someone that you're dating until I met Jordy. And, you know, in all of my relationships in the past, dating relationships, even like high school, I would always have a little voice in the back of my head saying like, I don't know if that was like the nicest thing for that person to do. I don't know if he's like really nice or kind. I would make justifications in my own head a lot of like, they're having a hard day, whatever, all the time. I told my therapist that I wanted to put this in a car chat and I told Jordy and both of their thoughts were, I would just be mindful of like making sure that people know the difference between just being a doubtful person or doubting the character of the person that you're with, because there's a lot of people that are just naturally doubtful. My therapist was like, yeah, tell people if you're the type of person that wakes up in the morning and like really can't decide between eggs or pancakes, like this is not necessarily for you. I'm not just saying like, if you're unsure, break up with that person, because of course it's natural to be unsure. I'm just saying that I did not know it was possible to like fully endorse someone's character and to say, I trust that they are going to make loving and kind decisions. And I trust that their heart is coming from like a really good posture until meeting someone that I did feel that way about. Hold out for someone that you fully trust. Hold out for someone that you admire and you look up to. And if you have doubts about their character and you're just dating them, either have really honest, bold conversations or, you know, hold out for someone that someone that you trust, someone that you admire and that you look up to. It took me 25 years to learn that that was possible. Um, some people probably figure that out sooner. Some people might be figure that out later. There's someone kind out there for you and you deserve that. You deserve to be treated well and you deserve to just feel so confident in their character. Girlies and guys, you deserve the best, all right? So I need to motivate myself to pack, but the side of TikTok that I'm on the thing that I will watch all the way through is like packing content, whatever content where it's just like boom, 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 like cut, 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 you know, it's so satisfying. It's so quick. It's so nice. So I'm going to attempt, I'm going to try my best to create that same level of satisfying content, but um, horizontally instead of vertically. I kind of did this once before, but this time I'm really, I'm really going to try to TikTokify it. Let's get packed. We're packed. Oh, that's great. Tonight I'm just going to uh, finish finish cleaning and all and all that good stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope y'all enjoyed this mini vlog. Um, thanks again to Beekman1802 for partnering with me on this video. Don't forget, I'm gonna have my 20% off code and the link and all that good stuff down in the description box. But I'm gonna see y'all in Raleigh, now that I know how to say it, right? And I'm looking very forward to it. It's the last Ben Rector show I'll be going to of this run. So it's kind of bittersweet, but I'm excited for some adventures. Okay, love y'all. Hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon.